Wendell's work is always thoughtful. I think that's the first thing that comes across in all of his work. Although he hates me to say this, he's a cultural historian. Um, he really hates that phrase because he says he's not trained as a historian. But the stories he's telling are talking about the African American landscape. And he's doing it in small ways, specific communities, specific objects. I don't think of myself as a historian. Um, what has happened to me over the years is that I've really become interested in the idea of using history, historical context, historical objects, as an element in the production of the artwork that I'm, that I'm involved in or that I'm engaged in. And it has transformed itself over the years. It started with photographing communities and uh, something that was a little bit more narrative to photographing architecture and the landscape of the African-American experience in the segregated schools and then, you know, gradually going to deep into the archive, in a sense, by pulling out these objects and photographing the objects. In his current series, photographer Wendell White is documenting African American history through objects that are sometimes curious or strange, and that are sometimes chilling. Each photograph compels a closer examination because of what it is, and because of how it's photographed. I'm trying to photographically have a very sort of narrow slice of focus that kind of cuts through the object in a sense and just has one point of focus. But then, as I almost always do, I try to also photograph an object with a somewhat more unexpected part of the, the object in focus. And so in this case, I focus just on the bottom hem of the hood. The hood is a Ku Klux Klan hood. In addition to African-American items from the collection of the Cape May County Museum, Wendell White was able to photograph an item on loan from an unidentified cultural organization in South Jersey, a woman's Klan robe. One of the things that was requested of me was that I don't associate or identify it with a particular institution. And I appreciate the struggle that these organizations have internally to be able to say this is something that we hold. Does it mean that we identify with those ideas or will it offend somebody if we have this? And I think people are sometimes taken aback by the power of an object. They forget that objects are imbued with the power of memory. Looking at these objects, they're obviously out of scale. You know, a ring is very small, but in the photograph it's blown up. So they get to think about these objects and the history that comes with them. And I think that's been really evocative and provocative for our visitors. And everyone seems to be commenting that they hadn't thought about the small parts of history and how these small objects tell bigger stories. This show, and the entire series, is called Manifest. It's a word with a range of meanings, from America's sense of manifest destiny to the lists, or manifests, kept by slave ships to keep track of their human inventory. So all of those things existed for me as a way in which the word manifest seemed meaningful. For me, as a producer, I'm, I'm driven by content, I'm driven by ideas. I, I have to have an idea as I work on things. Having an idea is something that Professor White asks of his students at Stockton University as well. Especially as seniors, it becomes, you know, the most annoying question that I ask on a fairly regular basis, and I ask them almost all the time, you know, what is this about? Tell me what your project is about. Describe your project to me. Wendell describes his own project manifest as a way of folding time, bringing the past and present into a shared space by reframing objects from a Confederate bullet to the FBI files of Malcolm X, he makes them new again, causing us to look more closely and to think about America's complicated history. If we address these questions, if we think about these questions, if we acknowledge them openly, then it may be easier to confront the contemporary problems. That piece of it is very important to me.